Tron Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to deploy a Crypto Hopper automated trading bot on the Coinbase Exchange utilizing a signal service to trigger trades. And I know what some of you are thinking. In my past videos or in the comments of my videos, you'll see that I'm not a fan of signal services. That's because I'm not a fan of trading based on tips. Uh, the people who work for tips, your bartenders, your waiters, your strippers, they work very hard to earn a living based on tips, not traders. So I am doing this because I did the video recently that called out a few of the signal service providers that they might be pump and dump or basically that they just weren't going to be making you money and the one I chose to use for today's example basically I wasn't saying perhaps it was a pump and dump more that the fees on the exchanges would eat up any profit you had and that is the strategy Nakamoto signals uh, they claim to have a 2.68% profit and in previous videos I said I don't think this is accurate as it probably is not taking into account fees and that is with this particular signal service I had an issue with in addition to they really don't tell you anything on how to configure the strategy whatsoever. Uh, they do tell you what strategies they're using to send the signals but they don't tell you any information as far as setting up your crypto hopper trading bot but with that being said if we look at their real-time stats now in my previous video we looked at their performance reports and you could see very small profits uh, but if we take a look at the real and they had an issue with that they basically said that I was looking at too small of a time frame and therefore the profits hadn't been realized yet well if you go over to the real-time stats page these are basically stats on the past month over the last month and again pretty much everything's under one percent this one's just over one percent your fees on these exchanges and in this case we're going to be setting up coinbase pro coinbase pro charges you half a percent when you buy half a percent when you sell so overall you're going to have a one percent fee this isn't going to hack it none of these returns are going to be profitable and we're going to be trading on the US dollar uh, and doesn't look like it's going to be profitable to me and I'm giving it that these stats are over a month's time so I don't know how long of a time frame they think you have to hold these bags but to be profitable but I think a month is more than enough and with that all being said they do tell you which of their two strategies they utilize for this particular signal service so if we click over here under their seller account we can see the two strategies and view what's entailed in those strategies again they don't tell you much as far as setup but they do give you some recommendations uh, as far as it targets larger profits however if the conditions are not even slightly bullish it will work with a tight trailing stop loss so they at least give you an idea that you can use this system with a trailing stop loss and if we take a look at the other strategy that's utilized by the signal service it's kind of the same thing but for a bearish so they've got a bullish and a bearish combination in the signal service and in this one they actually admit to your profits will be between point seven which isn't going to cover the fees to two percent uh, for this particular strategy and as I recall this strategy is going to set you back 50 bucks it's going to set you back fifty dollars and you do get 12 months of updates I believe with the service I think you would be better off doing your own recon developing your own strategy and so let's jump back over to the actual signal service they're so they're offering and keep in mind this signal service is free and their idea behind giving you this signal service for free is if you like the signal service you'll go buy those strategies which I'll give them credit it's great to give you something to test drive before you actually invest your money in their strategies 
but you do have to take into consideration most of the time if you're getting free tips when it comes to trading your profit will be about as much as you paid for that tip which will be zero and in reality it'll probably be a negative number now another issue i have with a signal service is you will need a subscription for each exchange and each currency so you can see on coinbase pro there are four different currencies that would be four different crypto hopper subscriptions and then if you wanted to have any of the binance you would need another six subscriptions so just between binance and coinbase pro you're going to need to have 10 crypto hopper subscriptions and let's say you're going with the adventure subscription you're looking at 49 dollars of subscription or $490 worth of subscriptions before you even get started. You're $490 in the hole. Now, it's possible if you had a great signal service that was providing huge profits, you might be able to absorb that cost. I don't think that's going to be the case, though. And just in case you're wondering, the bot I will be deploying will be on the Adventurer, uh, the $49 a month. It gives me 200 positions, which I won't have anywhere near that many. And maximum coin selection will be 50 on Coinbase Pro. I'm only having access to maybe 16 or 18 different coins that trade on there. And this will be more than sufficient. Uh, no one will be able to complain. I didn't give it a beefy enough subscription to let it do its thing. And between the Explorer and the Adventurer, those are the two subscriptions I use in my arsenal. Uh, let's go ahead and get to actually setting up that Coinbase hopper. And you will see when I had it set up for just over a month on my technical analysis strategy, it had an 8% return, which I'm still kind of tweaking it and dialing it in, but I'm very happy in a month's time to have an 8% profit. And I only gave it $1,000 to start with. And the reason you see a difference in this figure and this figure, I did a couple uh, quick uh, shoot and loot trades where I earned a couple hundred dollars more. Uh, and therefore, those were not calculated in these figures, but do show as profit overall of 39%. Uh, but anyway, let's get to what you came here for, and that is configuring this hopper to use a signal. As you can see, the hopper has been disabled. I always recommend you do that as you're configuring. That way you don't have any misfires. Uh, we'll jump over here to the base config and start up here at our basic settings. Obviously, Coinbase, again, I recommend you have this turned off while you're doing your configuration. The exchange, we're not doing paper trading, we're going to do live trading. That's right. I'm going to risk some of my troops, my own money, since the peanut gallery didn't think I gave it a fair shot by not actually deploying it live. I already had my API keys set up since it was already doing live trading. And we're going to use the highest bid, lowest ask as far as the ticker rate. And as far as notifications, I have it notify me when it executes a trade. The buy settings, we're going to do market, uh, maximum open time. I'll do four minutes to give it a chance to actually do the trade. I want a maximum of open positions to be nine. And that's going to be because, again, I'm only going to give it about $1,000. And the minimum order amount will be around $100. So that's going to tap it out anyway with nine open positions. Uh, maximum percentage of open positions I have adjusted to nine and that way it will equal one open position per coin that's how I prefer to trade I don't want to have multiple bags open for the same coins uh, and again you can see here only one open by order per coin I only want one order at a time per coin now in their description of their signal service they don't mention anything about configuring this and so I'm just going off of what I normally do. Now, I normally do have a cool down time on my technical analysis strategy. I'm going to turn that off since the signal service, I am assuming when it's ready to give you a signal, it's ready to go. So I'm going to give it every opportunity to get in the market and not miss any of those trades. Coin amounts. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move all the coins over here. 
In the past, I would just go with coins I've done recon on and I know how they perform with my strategy. In this situation, I'm going to give the signal service all the coins to do their thing. Uh, percentage buy amount I have set at nine which is close to that hundred dollar mark and as far as minimum US dollar per order I had set at 200 I'm going to change that to 100 and maximum US dollar amount allocated I'm going to drop that to a thousand I'm not willing to risk that much more and believe me I'll shut it down before it ever even got close to that uh, strategy we're going to choose signals and as far as trailing stop by, I do still want the trailing stop by enabled, but I'm going to throttle this back a little more. I look for it to run about half a percent back in my direction before I get in. That way I can confirm it's moving where I want. But since this bot is supposedly already determining it's moving in the correct direction, I'm going to make this 0.9. A very small percentage, just maybe a little cushion to make sure it's moving in the right direction. On my cell settings, I'm going to actually probably go with the strategy, but this would be my standard take profit rate of 3%, market order, maximum open cell time, 9 minutes. But under cell strategy, I'm, I'm going to base it on the strategy, which is the signals. So whatever their strategy is for selling, that's what I'm going to let this bot do. Stop loss. I normally run a pretty tight stop loss. I'm going to open this up a little bit and give it some room to move. And I'm basing this percentage off of their performance. If we look on Coinbase Pro, a 0.7% should give the coins plenty of room to move without getting stopped out too soon and again giving them an excuse as to why it failed uh, it's gonna fail probably because their profit margins aren't gonna cover my fees all right trailing stop loss now they kind of already said that you're looking at 0.7 to 2 percent so I'm gonna arm the trailing stop loss right around that 2 percent but at the same time giving it about a half a percent to move before it actually stops out and then the last couple features we don't really apply the auto close shorting or dollar cost averaging so we'll go ahead and hit save and so our basic settings have been saved but now we need to go grab the strategy which is going to be signals and go to the market strategies Got to go to the marketplace, it's kind of redundant, and signals. And this is the signal, like I said, it's free, so no real high hopes there. Not that the paid ones are any better, to be honest. And then once we get to the page, we subscribe, and now we have the option to configure, and we don't want to pause the signal. We want market orders. The buy amount is going to be $100. We're going to take profit and again this one is working off of the sell strategy of signals so that's going to be two percent and we're doing market orders so none of the percentage ask higher or lower is going to apply and sell signals again that basically means that the hopper will follow sell signals of the signaler and sell positions according to these signals and that's what we're going to do we're going to let it sell based off of their signal so they can't say I didn't give it its opportunity we're gonna let it do its thing and again we're gonna use the signal uh, configuration which will basically take commands from the signaler rather than your configuration so the profit or stop loss will be used as the signal instead of your own settings now this is very dangerous uh, using someone else's stop loss they may have a stop loss of 10 percent with a profit of two that risk versus reward is horrendous but i'm not going to limit this at all uh in the beginning anyway and i'm going to let it run with their settings so we'll go ahead and hit save and we'll jump back to the dashboard and from there we can go to the config go to your signals tab and you'll see this is our signal 
that we have subscribed to and the configure is again what we just did we configured that already and at this point we're pretty much ready to deploy the bot however I do want to actually go ahead and change and update everything to the correct balance to the correct percentages so we'll reset our stats which takes us to zero and I'm going to edit the starting balance by enabling the hopper this is actually the current balance I have on this particular coinbase account and so I'm going to edit that to match my starting balance which will now show a completely zeroed out even fresh start uh, for this hopper to begin and then the last thing I need to do is go over here to the config base config and under basic settings make it a live bot go back to the dashboard and so our hopper should be live and looking for signals I will do an updated video on the performance of this signal provider on this exchange so be sure to subscribe if you like the video spike it a like and if you have any comments be sure to leave those down below and until next time remember never send your money into battle before doing your recon see ya